What's up Ranger Nation, it's your boy Jerome and I'm here today with the third installment of Ranger Talk. So without further ado, let's get the video started. Alright, so I'm going to actually start this thing off with um, Power Ranger Super Ninja Steel. So, so far France has aired every episode that's left of Super Ninja Steel up until the season finale. There are some spoilers for, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't want to spoil it for anybody who has not, you know, saw any of the updates on the web, on you know, Twitter, wherever you get information from. So I'm not gonna do that. But I will say that um, with Super Ninja Steel, now I will say one spoiler. There is, um, you know, with episode 17 that's coming up in I believe three weeks or so, three or four weeks from now, uh, Levi will get his Superstar mode. Which um, I think that's pretty cool. You know, we saw it in uh, Sentai footage, so now they are you know cooperating it into the American footage. Also, on today's episode of Power Ranger Ninja Steel, we will meet Sheriff Skyfire. And also, just to let you guys know, uh, this is the last episode because next week they're going to be on hiatus, so they'll be back the following week. And the reason why they're going to be on hiatus next week is because next Saturday is going to be Nickelodeon's Worldwide Day of Play. So there won't be any Power Rangers episodes. There actually won't be anything in the morning block of uh, Nickelodeon. So keep that in mind if you uh, forget. Just remember, hey, if you wake up next Saturday and you're like, why, what's going on? Remember, it's Nickelodeon's worldwide day of play where they tell kids to go outside, have fun, play, and be active. So also, this is not related to Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel, but earlier this week on uh, September 17th was Austin St. John. Uh, who played Jason, the original Red Ranger's birthday, so happy belated birthday to him. And now I'm just going to move on but over to the stuff that I really, truly, 100% want to talk about and I'm ext ecstatic about and so excited to uh, get to this point. And it's going to be Beast Morphers. Alright, so earlier this week with uh, Beast Morphers, I was at work and I was, you know, going through my Twitter timeline and I follow Power Rangers now. Actually, I saw this on his Instagram page first. I saw where it had a cast announcement for Beast Morphers. And I'm like, okay, cool. One thing and nothing of it. Then I went over to his Twitter page and, you know, I saw all the characters listed. I'm like, okay. Got excited about it. So I'm going to go down the list of who we all have, who all we have and who they're playing. So we have uh, Colby Strong. He'll be playing Blaze. We have a Liana Ramirez. He'll be playing Roxy. We have Abraham Rodriguez. His character's name is going to be Nate. We have Christina Ho, her character's name is going to be Betty, and we have a Cosme Flores, his name is going to be Ben. And then also with the Red Ranger, with the we have the uh, names of the actual uh, three Rangers. So the Red Ranger's name is Devon, the Blue Ranger's name is Ravi, and the Yellow Ranger's name is Zoe. So you know, I'm with the Red, Blue, and Yellow. We know who they are, but the other ones we don't know exactly who they are and what their roles will be in the show. So I'm actually kind of interested to see. How, you know, what they do, if any of them are rangers, if any of them are friends of the rangers, or if any of them are, um, you know, like mentors or anything like that. So I'm actually really excited to see how this plays out. Now, there is one thing that I will say that I do not want to see 100% is another Victor and Monty-like character. It's cool to have comedic relief and all that kind of stuff, but when it comes to Victor and Monty, I think Victor and Monty are overkill for me. You know, they do a lot. And it's sometimes it's hit or miss when it comes to Victor and Monty. So that's my hope is that if they do decide to have some characters as comical relief, don't make them as corny as Victor and Monty are. Like tie them to Bulk and Skull or, you know, anything like that. Make them funny if you're going to do that. But, you know, like I said, it's going to be interesting to see how they, um, what they do, what these other uh one, two, three, four, five. What these other five characters' roles are going to be. Like I said, we don't know if they're going to be rangers. We don't know if they're going to be mentors, friends, whatever. But like I said, it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. And I can't wait for Beast Morphers. And, you know, we all know that Beast Morphers is going to premiere in uh, February of next year. And they're actually currently in uh, New Zealand filming. So, you know, we might get some, you know, some footage and stuff, hopefully by the end of the year. So I'm actually, like I said, I'm really 
100% looking forward to Beast Morphers. I hope that Beast Morphers, you know, I don't know how, I don't know how I feel about it. I know I'm excited for it. I wish, uh, since it's a sense, since um, this is all based on a computer virus, I'm hoping that some parts of it is related to Vengex from um, RPM, which I don't think it will because Chiplin said earlier this year that it's not going to be anything that has to do with RPM, but they could just be throwing us off. So who knows? But like I said, I just hope that it has some kind of reference to RPM or anything like that. Like I would love to see something like who knows? Maybe somebody on this team could be something like a Dr. K, you know, a Dr. K, uh, Colonel Flynn, not, not, not Colonel Flynn, but um, Colonel Truman, uh, you know, something like that. So, you know, it's. It's a, it's a toss up what they, what these people's roles will be. So, like I said, I'm excited for it. Whew. I'm ready for the toys to come out, though. That's what I'm really excited for. And that's something else that I'm kind of, you know, I, I have to get used to. The show premieres in February, but we won't get any toys until the spring. So, you know, we'll have the show before we actually get the toys, which I'm kind of, I'm kind of bummed about, but I'm kind of happy about it at the same time, you know. So, you know, tell me how you guys feel about the new characters that we um, have been told about. Uh, your thoughts about Beast Morphers as a whole, what you expect to see, what you don't want to see, and all that kind of stuff. And we'll just have a good old discussion about it. All right, and then in merchandise news, um, so there are some Mighty Morphin pin sets that have been released by Lineage Studios. I looked at the website yesterday. They are decent price. I saw $20 for the the pin, and then you can buy the individual power coins. They have the Tyrannosaurus, the Mastodon, the Sabertooth Tiger, Triceratops, and a Pterodactyl. And then they also have the um, the White Tiger Zord and the uh, Dragon Zord coins. So I will put that information in the in the uh, description box so that if anybody's interested in purchasing that stuff, it'll be there and you can go take a look at that at your um, own convenience at your own convenience and leisure. And then also I was on um, Instagram and Twitter yesterday and I saw in Power Rangers Now um, he posted that there is a book coming out. It's called The Visual History, The Ultimate Visual History. So I'm assuming that's going to be the ultimate history of all things Power Rangers from Mighty Morphin up until probably maybe uh, this season of Super Ninja Steel. I wonder how they'll break that. If it's going to be the history of Power Rangers, I wonder how they're going to break that down with uh, when it comes to the Nickelodeon stuff because you got Meg you got Samurai Super Samurai, Mega Force Super Mega Force, and Dino Charge Dino Super Charge and Ninja Steel Super Ninja Steel. So I'm wondering if they're going to combine those into one whole season and just put it in the book or if they'll do separately, which would be kind of stupid to me if you want me to be honest. So um, once I find out more information about this book, I will keep everybody posted on that and we'll move on to the last two things that I want to talk about. And next I want to talk about is comic book stuff. Now I have said this before that I don't, really want to I, I i look at the comic books on pounders now so i know what's what but i haven't really bought any of the comic books i can't really tell you too much about it so take you know you know i will tell you that um the gogo -Go power rangers back to school is out now um i will link that in the description as well um and we also have a cover for mighty morphin power rangers issue 31 and that's basically all i really have on comic book news uh you know any suggestions for, you know, tell me some good stuff about anybody out there who's watching this. Tell me some good things about the comic books. Tell me because I don't really know a lot about the comic books and I'm, you know, I'm, I want to get into the comic books as much as I can. So tell me, you know, what's your favorite? You know, do you like the Go Go Power Rangers or do you like the Shattered Grid? You know, tell me what you guys' favorite is because, like I said, I don't know a whole, I know a little bit about it. But not that much about it to actually just, you know, have an in-depth conversation with you guys about it. So tell me more about it so that way I can be more informed when I come on the, on the camera and talk about it. And then the next thing I'm going to talk about is going to be Legacy Wars. So stay tuned for that part. All right. So now I'm going to talk about Legacy Wars. Now, I always see a lot of updates about Legacy Wars 
on you know Power Rangers now um, on you know I see a lot of updates everywhere about it now here's my question about Legacy Wars because I actually downloaded the Legacy Wars app last year toward the end of the year and I played the game I loved the game at first you know because I was you know I got into it I got I acquired new characters characters that I loved and then you know um, over time I started to see that there was a big disconnect with the game because when you are playing, when I was playing the game, I would have, I would be beating my opponent, and I would get down to the point where they're almost defeated. Then I, you know, take, I, I have my high power move, and I hit them with it, and they counter it, and then they come back and hit me with another move that was completely weaker than what my initial move was. So I deleted the app and stopped playing. Actually, I didn't, I didn't delete the app. I just stopped playing the game altogether because I'm like, that's not. You know that's kind of almost cheating if you know so I, if i can throw a high power move at you but you can counter that with something that's lower and weaker and you, and you beat me when i was like a few i was like literally one hit away from knocking you out and you come back and you completely beat me up that's why i deleted that app so my question is has anything changed like that with the app because i had like i said i haven't played it in almost a year and you know i hear think people talk about because actually when i did play it there was an update that came but that update didn't address anything that people were complaining about so you know um let me know if the game has changed at all over the last year and if it's any if you think that i should go start playing the game again and you know tell me the good the bad and the ugly of the game and we will discuss it later so um that's pretty much it for ranger talk this week uh, I this is Saturday that I'm filming this so I will be back later today with my review for Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel episode number 14 so stay tuned for that and um, I will see you guys later